Hi everyone, welcome to Karen from Tillicrafts.co.uk. Um, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and this is video number two in my celebration uh, preview of free goodies that you can earn. Um, if you've watched my last video, I, I ex I've explained about um, that you can order, if you order anything from this catalogue, which is the January to June catalogue or the current annual catalogue and spend £45, you get a level one reward and multiples of that you get extra rewards and then when you've got the rewards you can select something free from this brochure now this brochure only runs from the 5th of january to the 28th of february so i thought i'd bring you some of the projects uh, that i've made with some of the goodies that i've earned from here because as being a demonstrator you can earn things early and today i'm playing with a touch of ink now a touch of ink get to the page a touch of ink is actually a level two um, celebration item uh, so you need to have spent £90 to be able to get this free but it is such a lovely set um, there's 17 stamps on it and the images are bigger than what you see on the front um, these are 65% of the size so let me just grab one this is the hummingbird and as you can see it is a lot bigger than that so they're very nice um this was the card i made with it um and i've used the butterfly out of here and the flowers and the thank you so much um and also the little speckly one nice to have a few speckles and i've used a wink of stella now this was done in so saffron and highland heather um and layered up on so saffron card so i was really chuffed with it so i thought instead of bringing exactly the same one today i'd do one with the hummingbird um and let me tell you what we need for this we need an a4 piece of card that's folded in half and cut in half no it is it's cut in half. This is an A4 sheet that's cut in half and scored in half and folded over to make a portrait card. Now, I've got two card bases. I've got one in So Saffron and one in Pacific Point. I don't know which one we want to use yet. And I've also got a card base. Now, this measures <clears throat> three and five eighths by five and three eighths. And the layer is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths that's fine and then these will obviously these will layer up on here with just a little border around them but I won't know till we've actually stamped and used the colours as to which base I want and also I've finished the card off I don't know if you can see it I've finished the card off with Winker Stella to give it a little bit of glitz on there so let's get started so you need your layer and I've just got a bit of a ridge there so I'm just going to get my bone folder it's very mucky because that's me ink one and that one's a bit mucky too but never mind I just like to run it along and then it smooths the edge down because sometimes when you're cutting it it can cause a ridge so it's fine now and the ink I'm going to use I thought I'd use specific point today and also the memento and then i need the so saffron which i've not pulled out but i can just reach it and the so saffron now the best thing about this stamp set is you have an outline and an infill and you have that for the bird the leaves the flower and the butterfly and there's a little tiny leaf that you've got one for as well you can use the inks like i've done on here to infill and it gives that like um a splodgy effect so it's not perfectly inset it's like i don't know what you call it like a watery color type of thing or if you didn't like if you don't like that idea you can always blend these which i will probably do a project because i love blending so you can blend them with your blends so or watercolor even if you want to, if you did want to properly watercolor you could do that too so i'm going to start off with 
and I had a little play before on a scrap piece of paper and how I've done the butterfly in the black I'm actually going to stamp my hummingbird in the blue so where's my flowers oops I've got my card everywhere so I'm going to be wanting my flowers but the hummingbird is going to be like sort of here so I want my flowers to be like that so it's like the bird is going into it so I'm just going to stamp that up like that so and again I'm just going to position so probably about there so I'm going to stamp it down like that whoops and stamp another one here I love these flowers, I think they're pretty. Stop off a little bit. Go mad with these. So I'm doing more than the other one, but every card's different. So we're going to do it like that. I'm just going to pop that away because I don't need that until I sentiment. And I'm just going to stamp the outline of my bird, and I'm using Pacific Point for this full strength. So, I'm thinking maybe like that. So it looks like he's flown in and he's going to have some nectar. And then what I'm going to do with the outline is if I stamp this now, it's going to be full strength. But I want to stamp it off and then stamp it on top there we go like that and this has got like shading in it so it's not all the same colour so you've got bits of white darker blue and lighter blue and I like that so that's him done and then we need our flowers and with these again I think I stamped off so I'm just going to try it on the side yeah that's a bit bright so I'm going to stamp it off and again I can't see because my camera's in the way but I just stamp over the top like that there we go and it just gives that watery coloured effect over the top of it let's pop them on <laughs> can't see I think that's not right I think it's quite a nice effect I usually forget and end up stamping one in full strength there we go oh, I like that now on the last one I did the speckles in the yellow but I'm actually thinking I might pull out my smoky slate the good old smoky slate and do some speckles in the smoky slate so again I'm just going to test the strength of it so yes I definitely want to stamp off so I'm just going to dot some about just takes a bit of the whiteness off as well like that. I do you like that? Put those back up there. I'm trying to be a, a tidier year with all my stamp sets. Probably won't last long but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and in my trusty little box I have some little strips and I've got a hello friend which I think that might be a better size for it. They always keep me off cuts when I make my layers because there's always these strips, but they come in so handy for sentiments or for little images if you want to do little images. So 
but I'm just going to stamp this on here because I've not used the Hello Friend out of here. Can you see how it's not stamped so good? It's either that or I need to re-ink my ink pad. That's better. Right, so this ends straight. So let's go in there like that and I've just, oh no, it's fine. Yes, it's come out fine. I was going to say I've done it at the wrong end, but I think I'll put, I put my sentiments straight here and did a banner there. But on this one, I think I'll do it this side. So, just bob that up there out of the way. And again, can you see I've got a ridge there? So, I'm going to get my bone folder. I do actually need to get a new bone folder. Lovely. And then let's get the trimmer. Oops. I'm not good at doing the straightest things, but anywho. There's my snips. And then to make a tag, just cut straight up the middle, tag it in. like that and then that'll fit just on there nicely let's move all these little bits out of the way I try and keep the good paper change I'm supposed to have scrap paper hanging about but I don't know where it's gone typical right so first of all we need to decide which base we're having so this is the Pacific Point one with the bird. I quite like that actually. Or we can do it with the so saffron and do it like that. Do you know what? I think I like the Pacific Point better. It picks up the bird. So we'll go with Pacific Point. It's always good to try because you don't know until you put it on if you like it or not. glue on this border all the way around move that over a little bit there we go that's better and then just like that and bob this down on here Fab. Now for my little sentiment, I'm just going to use some dimensionals wherever I put them last, see? They're right by side of me. <laughs> oh, my pokey tool. Let's put two dimensionals on that. Come on. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to line it up with the edge, pop it on there like that. And the last thing is the Winker Stella. Love Winker Stella. And then let's go over the whole bird to give him some glitz. Hummingbirds are great little creatures. They're amazing how they can fly and do what they do. There we go. Let's make sure he's all covered in. And when he dries, he'll be nice and sparkly. There we go. Can you see the sparkle on that? I don't know if you can see it. That's lovely. I mean, if you wanted to, you could go over the flowers as well. But I quite like just doing the bird so that's my card from today i hope you've liked that and again the don't forget if you uh, spend money in the catalogs either of the catalogs and you spend more than 45 pounds you will get a level one reward if you spend 90 pounds you get two level ones so you can buy 
a touch of well you, you can get a touch of ink for free it's a fab set the other sentiments are best wishes thank you so much hope love hello friend thinking of you 17 stamps in total so it is good value on that one so thank you very much for joining me today i do hope you like these cards um if you do please give me a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber please would you subscribe and come back and see more videos that i have thank you speak to you all again soon